from Chavez High School, Carlos Heredia. Good evening, Board President Dr. Rodriguez, members of the school board, Superintendent Mr. Almanderes, and Executive Cabinet members and members of the audience. My name is Carlos Heredia. I am the school student ambassador for Cesar E. Chavez High School. It's been a while since we have been here, so here are some of the highlights from the last time we've been here. In October, we had our first ever Boobash, a week-long Halloween event featuring a terrifying multimedia house and student-constructed pumpkin catapult that fired a pumpkin 60 feet across the front of our school. It was awesome. We also got to scare some district HR staff, which was really funny. May I also say it was the best participation from students and staff we have ever had. In sports, we were thrilled to announce that we won the basketball tournament against Middle College and took the, our trophy back. It is now proudly displayed in its rightful home on the Cesar E. Chavez campus. Our school also celebrated the holidays with Thanksgiving and Christmas luncheons on campus. In addition to the luncheons, we hosted a live performance of Dickens' A Christmas Carol from the Center for P Performing Arts. It was incredible seeing Chavez students on stage playing different characters. Our tiny Tim was on point. This week, we have two special visitors. First, we are completing our mid-year WASC visit. Second, we will host our new superintendent, Mr. Almanderas, on February 13th. We can't wait to share with our visitor all the exciting things happening at Chavez. During this time, ASB will host a spirit week leading up to Valentine's Day. We will use this week to unveil this year's prom theme, California Love. I am also pleased to share some fantastic news about our two new teachers, Mr. Christian Iturale and Ms. Kamala Kavadi. Mr. I and Ms. Kavadi have started a PBIS Student of the Week program at our school. In an interview with Mr. I, he shared how staff members, both certified and classified, will nominate three students each week. Those students will be honored on our morning announcements and receive a front of the line lunch pass. Students have already started enjoying this privilege Mr. Iturales said he can't wait to see if the data on the student performance, behavior, and attendance improves. Looking forward to March, we are excited to begin a collaboration between the Segerstrom Center for the Arts Chavez English Teachers, Mr. Darlene, Ms. Darlene Criso, and Mr. Eric Timmons. The Arts Teach program has awarded us with an opportunity to connect with a resident artist who spent six weeks working with students to write and perform original monologues. Exploring their own stories and unique voices, students will share these monologues with friends and family in a special performance night. Last but not least, Chavez looks forward to celebrating 25 years of being an educational option school, providing a second chance opportunity and providing hope for a better future for to SAUZ students. To celebrate this occasion, we will host an on-campus event with guest speakers and, and performers and of course food. Because after all, what is a celebration without food? Thank you for allowing me to share what has turned into a remarkable year for our school. Thank you, Carlos. Well done. From Middle College High School, Jordan Avila. Good evening, President Dr. Rodriguez, members of the board, and Superintendent Mr. Almendares. My name is Jordan Avila, and I will discuss Middle College High School's upcoming opportunities, as well as touching upon its previous ones. Since this past September, our school has continued its UCI Health Career Academy classes for our sophomores, juniors, and seniors. We prepared the students to get in touch with UCI's Doctors for Diversity and School of Medicine in an effort to have collaborative medical career lectures and discussions, which have gone well underway. As of now, interns have educated students on a variety of opportunities for medical career pathways, including the steps, to, the steps necessary to expand their knowledge in this medical field. Safety is a priority at our school that we wish to maintain at all times, and because several of our students have committed themselves to taking night classes at Santa Ana College, we have integrated a tutoring center on campus now. This tutoring center will be available to use as a resource for students' education, recreation, or leisure, remaining open Mondays through Thursdays between the hours of 3 and 7. We also have a new college-bound counselor to continue the work of the college and career readiness program that is college-bound. Our newest counselor has been available from noon all the way until five o'clock every day to support and help all students in customizing a plan for their future. Appointments will be made available for our students in an effort to provide individualized academic support, college pathway details, career options, and ultimately complete preparation for a prosperous future upon graduating high school. 
Recently, we have selected 35 of our freshmen to take a field trip to Pomona College, where they had the opportunity to observe the qualities of leadership, along with experiencing students' everyday activities, such as being creatively participated in their leadership class and providing for the campus as a whole. Furthermore, SAC will be having a kinder camina caminata this spring to provide an early college experience for kindergartners. Through a community-wide effort, approximately 1,000 kindergarten students will visit Santa Ana College to learn about the career opportunities made possible about college education and get them to be more open-minded about furthering their education at a younger age. Finally, this past Monday, Middle College High School hosted a conference for the Middle College National Consortium. About 30 guests from early middle college high school, from middle college schools from across the nation visited our school to learn about our best educational practice, practices so that may, that may provide the best for their students as well. They visited our classrooms, they lis listened to our presentations from our Santa Ana College partners, and heard some of our own students' testimonials about their experience here. By the end of the day, our guests walked away with many complimentary things to say about our school. With all that being said, that is all for the opportunities here at MCHS, MCHS and its students. Thank you guys for your time. Thanks, Jordan. Saddleback High School, Geraldine Venta. Good evening, Board President Rodriguez, members of the school board, Superintendent <laughs> Almendarez, District Cabinet, parents, students, and community members. My name is Geraldine Venta, and I'm happy to be here tonight. I would like to thank you all for having me here to talk about what makes my school what makes my school such a wonderful place and to explain what it means to be part of the Roadrunner Nation. Since I last spoke to y'all, I would like to, a lot of exciting things have been happening at Saddleback. We had our Adidas Legacy game on January 8th, where all students and family came to support our Saddleback boys and girls basketball team. This is our third year being an Adidas Legacy school, which means that Adidas not only sponsors our basketball teams, but provides our, our Roadrunner students with some amazing opportunities. For example, just a few weeks ago, Adidas sponsored a trip to for the boys basketball team to go to LA Live and receive custom made Adidas shoes and have dinner with and hear an inspiring message from the NBA great and current Portland Trailblazer, Trailblazer Damon Millard. I'm proud to announce that both boys and girls basketball teams won their legacy games. Everyone, attend, everyone who attended had a wonderful evening and went home with tons of Adidas swag. In other sports news, varsity boys soccer is off to CIF playoffs. Again, also huge congratulations and shout outs to our girls varsity undefeated basketball team for winning league and also heading to CIF playoffs this Thursday. Earlier this month, we had our annual fall academic awards night. If you follow us on Facebook or on Instagram at Saddleback HS, you can see from the pictures that it was a full house with standing room only. It was great to see many hardworking roadrunners being rewarded for an an excellent first semester, with many of our students earning over 4.5s and even five of our IB students who earned a 5.0. Last Friday, we participated in the annual district-wide We Care campaign, where students and staff were read and students were reminded from the moment that they stepped on campus that not only SAUSD cares, but Saddleback cares. Reminded all of the, all of the different resources available to us if we need during lunch, we had a staff pass out week care cards, which had all the different campus resources listed as well as some great performances from our dance, cheer, and hip hop team. Finally, speaking of our dance, cheer, and hip hop teams, I am proud to announce that yet again, for the third year in a row, all three teams will be heading for an annual national jams competition in Las Vegas to bring home more wins. We wish them luck and we can't wait for them to be represent representing the Roadrunner Nation. Thank you all for allowing me to share a bit of our school of our school with you. As always, I invite you to come and visit us anytime. Thank you and good evening. Great job, Geraldine. Great job. Sagerstrom High School, Noemi Portillo. Good evening, President Rodriguez, members of the school board, superintendent. Almendares and community members. My name is Noe Portillo and I am proudly representing Sagerstrom High School. 
We've had many significant events happen at Segerstrom over the last couple of months. Let me start off by proudly saying that our seniors have already begun receiving acceptance letters to universities like Vanguard University, Cal State Fullerton, um, San Francisco State, Chico State, and a small school called MIT. But he's still waiting on Stanford to make a decision. With the help of our supportive teachers and school faculty, our Jaguars are ready to take the next step after graduating in May. With the clock ticking, the pressure is on for our Jaguars. However, that doesn't mean that all hope is lost for fun. During our winter break, our Jaguars enjoyed a night of dancing at our fire and ice themed winter formal and are patiently awaiting our next school dance. Since returning from break, we've celebrated the beauty of Lunar New Year with a culturally enriched spirit week. Um, we've, also had, we've also shared our support for the well-being of our Jaguars with We Care Awareness Week, where we, provide, where we prove that mental health is just as important as physical health. The week culminated in a lunch celebration that included cheer, drumline, choir, and soloists, all supporting mental health, Jaguars care. In the past couple of months, we've also had great successes in our athletic teams. Our girls' water polo became Golden West League champions and began or, and begin CIF playoffs this week. Boys soccer plays El Dorado in a first round CIF playoff game tomorrow. Girls basketball finished in second and will be playing against Whittier Christian on Thursday. Our boys wrestling left the Golden West League finals with seven placers and nine um, qualifiers for CIF. However, that's not all Jaguars have uh, celebrated over the last few months. As you might have known, our girls' tennis team became CIF champions and proudly unveiled their banner in our school's gym. After our insightful junior conference, organized by our amazing higher education coordinator, Mrs. Wesso, our juniors are one step closer to achieving higher education. Students rotated through the day and had a chance to learn about the four branches of college they planned for senior year and also had a chance to register for the SAT. With the start of a new semester, all of our students are ready to finish the year strong and are looking forward to all the opportunities that summer brings. With a few months left of the school year, the Jaguars at Segersham have proven to be dedicated to their education as well as uphold that amazing Jaguar culture. Thank you. Great job, Noemi, Geraldine, Jordan, and Carlos. You can stay for the remaining part of the meeting, or you can go do your homework or other kind of stuff. That We know you're busy students, but thank you for being here, and great job. Great job representing your schools in our district. Thank you. Thank you.